Hey everyone, I'm Yuan. I'm the technical director at Dynamite Games. I'm here to show you Go Fight Fantastic, a co-op hack and slash for up to three players. In the game, you can play as four different characters, a healer, striker, tank, or the archer character, all with unique abilities and upgrades. Today we're having a look at the story mode chapter 2, where we are currently saving the bird planet from an alien invasion. Our first character, the striker, here in yellow, uh, is a bit of a glass cannon, uh, meaning he can get in, do a ton of damage, but also has to get away from the enemies before he takes any damage himself. He has a bunch of uh, lightning strike abilities and uh, teleportation, so high mobility and uh, very high combat damage. The second character we have in rotation here is uh, Supernova. She's the tank of the group, meaning she can actually take a bunch of damage. She has shields and uh, is really here to help the group uh, be the first line of defense. And third up we have Max, the healer of the group. His job is obviously to keep everyone alive using the healing orbs, but he can also mark enemies for vulnerability, um, charge up his basic attack, and just yeah, do a ton of damage for a, for a healer, actually. And as you can see playing solo, uh, you can swap between the characters with uh, just the press of a button. Uh, so you basically you have your, your character set that you pick at start, and then uh, you uh, combo abilities and just chain between them. And of course we wanted the characters to have unique uh, personalities, uh, so we made sure to uh, add custom dialogue for each character when you interact with NPCs and uh, just progress through the story. And as you've probably noticed by now, we have a bunch of different enemies. We have everything from fast assassin type enemies to smaller spider things, uh, larger spiders that shoot projectiles, the, uh, the uh, drones that will chase you and just bombard you if they uh, catch you in their spotlight. And uh, I mean, all of these enemies have like different uh, behaviors and, uh, and AI functionality. So you really have to learn what they all do and like how to take them out and, and in, uh, in which order. Um, you also have a bunch of collectibles like health drops, uh, the, um, the shards, the triangle loot um, that can be used to, uh, to craft or upgrade uh, your permanent upgrades because there are uh, permanent upgrades you can collect throughout the game. Uh, I think we currently have uh, over a hundred of them in the game, uh, so you can really create your custom builds, and that could be anything from like stat-based changes uh, to um, completely modifying the abilities. So if you want to create a, a healer that throws uh, grenades instead of healing orbs, you can you can use that uh, that upgrade system, uh, the meteorites, to do that. And uh, here in chapter two, we are chasing General Poi, who's hiding out in the lighthouse. So uh, along the way, we uh, get the help from uh, the lightkeeper Wiki, who will uh, tell us about what's going on and uh, tell us the resistance is, is on the task already. But we're uh, welcome to help out, so to say. Uh, game was originally designed to uh, to be a uh, strictly co-op experience, uh, but we uh, decided to introduce a uh, single-player mode where you can swap between the characters. Uh, and as you can see, the strength really lies in comboing the attacks of the different characters. Each chapter also has some uh, unique mechanics. Uh, like for chapter two, we have the tall grass. That means you can hide from the drones, um, so uh, they don't find you with their searchlights. Hopefully making it a bit easier to avoid uh, getting bombarded while also fighting off enemies. Jumping forward a bit, we end up at the base of the lighthouse that Poi 
has taken over for her drone hives. Uh, Poi is uh, one of the uh, generals of the Empress and uh, a bit of a fashionista. Uh, so she always wants to do things in style. I uh, hope you enjoyed this sneak peek of chapter two of Go Fight Fantastic. I think this is the first time we're showing this off to anyone actually. So uh, make sure to wishlist the game on Steam. Very important. Make sure to wishlist. Uh, you can also try the demo. Uh, it's available on the Steam page. And the game is launching very soon. So uh, make sure to join the Discord for the latest updates. Uh, and uh, I uh, hope to see you guys around. Thank you for watching.